Have you ever heard of a tarantula with a double abdomen? As in two sets of spinnerets on one body? This is not a new species of tarantula. This is a very rare and typically fatal genetic abnormality. From the best that I can figure, it's called abdominal duplication syndrome. There has not been a lot of research done on this particular defect in spiders, so finding any concrete information has been very difficult. But what I have found is fascinating, so let's start at the beginning. This is Assassin, my Malaysian earth tiger tarantula. Get it? Because she has two? Uh, never mind. Scientifically, this species is known as Omothymus shiodeti, formerly Syriopogapus shiodeti. And they are a beautiful arboreal species that can be found living high in the trees of the Malaysian rainforest. As adults, they typically live well over six feet off the ground in large hollow trees. But as spiderlings and juveniles, they can be found in burrows along the ground, usually in the crevices of rocks or in the bases of trees, bridges, and other man-made structures. And this species does exhibit sexual dimorphism because as males mature, they get a little more green with each molt until finally maturing into a distinct olive green color with yellow highlights. Now enough about this species, let's talk about the two sets of working spinnerets. While there's not much scientific research on it, we know it's likely a developmental abnormality that results in the duplication of the abdomen, often leading to the presence of two distinct sets of spinnerets. There are a few isolated reports of similar abnormalities in the past. I can find a handful of stories of spiderlings with double abdomens or conjoined twins, but most of those slings died before their first molt or did not survive their first molt. I did find a report of a hobbyist in Russia that crossbred a Chilicotl albopilosis with a Chilicotl vogans, which is a curly hair and a Mexican red rum tarantula. And one of the offspring was born with two completely segmented abdomens. The last information I could find on that spider came from a secondhand source that said it did grow to an adult size with no problems, but it had only lived for eight years, which is a very short life for a suspected female. Obviously, crossbreeding tarantulas is wrong for a whole host of reasons, and we should never do that. But if you want more information about why, just check out the video linked above. Despite the genetic problems that come with crossbreeding, the segmented double abdomen is most likely not the result of a genetic defect. There is a mention in this book that I'm going to put right here because I don't want to insult it by trying to pronounce it, where they report a case of an Acanthoscuria tarantula that had a segmented double abdomen. And they even provided a photo. Similar to the Vaughan's hybrid, it also had two completely segmented abdomens. Though this specimen was a male and did not live long, based on the pictures, it looks like like he reached maturity or at least got very close to being a mature man. The closest example to the abnormality that my tarantula has is a photo I saw of a Pteranoculus murinus spiderling, also known as an orange baboon tarantula. It appears to have two sets of spinnerets, but the abdomen is not completely divided. According to reports, it did have at least a few successful molts, but I could not find much more information after that. I did find a thread on arachnoboards where the user Tarkan posted some photos of their Chromatopelmus sinopubescence, which had a leg span of around one and a half inches in the photo. It also had two sets of spinnerets on one abdomen. Now you're probably asking yourself, or more accurately, the screen you're holding in your hands right now, what are the impacts of having two sets of spinnerets? Well, for one, this also means they have two anuses. And while I have not actually witnessed this tarantula poop, just judging by the walls of her enclosure, she is definitely pooping. I won't say it's twice as much poop as a normal tarantula. I will just say she's having no problems in that department. People wanting to know about how she webs is probably the most asked question. This species can be defensive and shy. So getting footage of her webbing is something I have been trying for a long time, but every time the lights come on, she freezes. I can say that I have seen her laying down web, and she is using both sets of spinnerets at the same time, moving her booty around as if she had just one set. I just rehoused her into a larger enclosure, and when I was pulling out the web tunnels from her old enclosure, they are the thickest and strongest web tunnels that I have ever encountered in my 25 years keeping tarantulas. And I'm including adult species as well. This was some seriously thick webbing, so I'm guessing that she's just webbing based on her instinctual drive, not realizing that she is actually doing twice as much work. This species was actually sent to me as a gift from Will Hooper out in Texas. He's a viewer of the channel. The Spider Shop hatched out this sling and had her listed for sale on their website, spidershop.com, where you can use my affiliate code TTC10 to save 10% on all your purchases. And because she was such a rare specimen, she was not cheap. 
So a huge thanks to Will for purchasing her and having her sent to me so that I could document such an amazing tarantula to share with all of you all. This is by far the rarest and most fascinating tarantula that I have ever seen. And I feel honored to be entrusted with her care. She has now molted several times with no issues while she's been here in the Tarantula Collective. My girl has no issues with spinning her web tunnels, catching prey, digestion, moving, and exhibits all the typical behaviors of a normal Omothymus sheadetti at this size. Currently, her diagonal leg span is just over two and a half inches, and she has molted at least seven times so far without any problems. And honestly, she looks like she's about to molt again here in the near future. I say she because she appears to be a female, based on the images Tyler took of her molt while she was still at the spider shop. That being said, because of the shape of her abdomen, it's kind of hard to be 100% sure. One thing I am sure of though is that she has six book lungs, as opposed to the two pair of book lungs tarantulas typically have. So this is Assassin, my double butt Malaysian earth tiger. I will continue to keep you updated on her progress and growth over the years. So make sure that you're subscribed and have all notifications turned on so you don't miss any of that content coming out in the near future. If you want more videos with fascinating tarantula facts, just check out this playlist right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>